Okay, so let's talk about Beyonce and what my thoughts and my feelings are about that, this whole situation as a Christian minister. So first of all, like I said before in other videos, I have never been really a Beyonce person, not because I have anything against her necessarily, but the whole rap R&B industry was never my vibe. And, you know, it wasn't just because I was a church boy, because there's a whole bunch of church people that absolutely love her and love that whole that whole world. And that's fine. But for me, that music genre just never, ever appealed to me as a young person. So I only know her from like Fighting Temptations, a couple of songs from Destiny's Child, Dream Girls, like her early, early, early stuff and a song or two that she did from the, the live action Lion King situation and a couple of other songs across the years. That's all I really knew about her. When the Lion King live action film came out, she did a song called Spirit, which I listened to and I, I, I didn't watch that, I didn't watch the actual film, but I listened to the music and I liked the song until I saw the music video. I saw the music video and I was like, hmm, there's some really interesting imagery going on with this whole thing. And by interesting, I mean weird. And by weird, I meant very culty, cult-like sounding looking stuff. So I never watched it again, and then I never listened to the song pretty much ever again after that moment. Now, all of this other stuff is coming out and has been over the years about Beyonce overtly, because this is just new information to me, because again, I have never consumed her content enough to know but in doing research about what she has been doing and what she is involved with, where she is actually literally centering, channeling, and representing false deities. Like, like becoming them and representing them up front and center down to Apis, which was the Egyptian god that the Israelites carved out and made a golden calf in honor of after they were delivered out of Egypt. So here is what my stands are on the whole thing as a Christian minister. One, it's never in your best interest as a Christian. I'm not talking to people who are not a part of the Christian faith. This doesn't have anything to do with you. I'm talking about people who are Christians. It is never in your best interest to open yourself up to songs and concerts and gatherings that are in honor to false entities, false beings, false spirits, when it's overt or covert, because it's opening yourself up and your family up to stuff you ain't got no business fooling with.